Hello, this is Andrew Klein. Uh, today we have a video. We're going to take a look at using LOD groups or level of detail groups inside of Maya. This version is Maya 2009. Uh, this model that we have uh, is a model uh, base mesh courtesy of uh, ZBrush Pixelogic, uh, Pixelogic being the makers of ZBrush. Uh, the sculpt on top is my own, and we're going to take a look at how we can actually get varying levels of detail uh, with this sculpt. So um, what I have here is uh, level one of detail. Uh, we can see the polygon count of this model uh, is roughly 2,658 quads. Um, and we can hide this model very quickly. I'll right click in the hypergraph and choose hide. Uh, I will show the level two. Uh, this has been divided a little bit further. Uh, and this is at 10,604 quads. Uh, and you can see we now start to get some extra detail on the surface. Uh, I'm going to hide this one, and I'm going to show this version of the model. This is sculpted even further at uh, 169,664 quads. And we now see uh, quite a bit more detail uh, have been sculpted onto the model. Uh, with this, we're going to try and set up a grouping arrangement. Uh, I'm going to say show on all three of these. Uh, I want to set up a grouping arrangement so that when I'm pretty far away, I'm only looking at LOD1. Uh, and as I get closer and closer, I'm going to allow Maya to transition so that I'm just displaying LOD3. Uh, and that's going to give me a lot of flexibility uh, and free, uh, free up a lot of memory, hopefully, on the machine, uh, as I won't be drawing the highest level of detail at all times. So that's what we're going to set up. Now, doing this is actually extremely easy. Uh, the way to do it is to select your highest level of detail first. And then holding down shift, continuously select to your lower and lower level of details. So in this case, since I have three, I held down shift and selected LOD three, then two, and then one. From there, I'm going to go to edit and choose level of detail group, which is going to create a grouping arrangement out of the three called level of detail group. Now, as I zoom in, you'll notice my detail is going to get higher and higher. Here's three as I get really close. Here's two as I zoom out. And eventually, here's one. Let's click on the mesh and you'll see there's LOD1. Here's where we hit LOD2. And here's where we hit LOD3. And in fact, if I click on the LOD group, you'll be able to see the wireframe actually transition from mesh to mesh as I zoom my camera in and out, which is a very, very neat effect. Now the one last thing that we can control with this is if I have that LOD group selected, um, I can actually choose the threshold difference, and I have the attribute editor open inside Maya. I can choose the threshold difference at which I want this to display. For instance, I think this transition between 3 and 2 is happening a little too close. I want that to maybe happen about here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm currently set to a value of 2.5 or so. Uh, I'm going to say, let's, let's say 10. Um, and now when I go past 10 units, it will make its first transition. Uh, the next one, let's push out to about, uh, let's say, 25. And uh, now you'll see here's level 1 out beyond 25 units. Level 2 between 25 and 10. And inside of 10, we get um, to the level 3. And so again, you can see that transfer as I work my way back out to the simpler and simpler wireframe. Um, that's it for this tutorial, and if you can do that, you can hopefully manage using level of detail groups for your own models to help uh, easily transition between different model densities. Uh, again, this has been Andrew Klein. Uh, you can find more video tutorials on www.andrewkline.net. Uh, thank you.